Uh, I know a lot of us are looking for solutions. Uh, light rail's coming eventually. Jordan takes a bus and then he takes a skateboard. Uh, but there are actually some uh, other opportunities. One of them may be on the horizon. I got a little sneak peek at an air taxi. It sounds scary. It's very much real. Take a look at this. <laughs> Yeah, hello there. Do not attempt to adjust your television set. You are looking at the world's first autonomous air taxi. I had to separate all of those words because they all mean something different. I'm here with Alex, the founder of Volocopter. This is impressive. This is very cool. This is, by the way, already being used in Germany. You're here in North America for the first time. An autonomous, meaning it's got a brain of its own, flies by itself, air taxi. This is exciting. Is it safe? So the, this is really safe, so you can develop a really safe system, so what is not safe is a person who control it because the person may make the mistake. So you think it's safer to take human error out of the equation? Yeah, it's not only the pilot, uh, what, you, uh, um, uh, what is the risk, so uh, we have a really high redundant system, so we can lose a lot of our components of our motors, of our rotors, so you can, you, it's really, really, really safe. We fly since uh, 2011, we had our first manned flight with this technique, 2011. We have since 2016 um, a permit to fly in Germany, so we can fly all around in Germany without restriction with this aircraft. It's like using an Uber, so you you, you catch it with, the, with an app and wow. you pay for the service, so we want to, to bring the service to the people and to everybody. So it would be also really affordable, so it's, it must not be uh, more expensive than Uber Black, for example. So wow. everybody can take with us in the air in the future, in the near future. We got a flight to catch. I don't know, some uh, nervous energy did you see at this what table. Did? Do it again. Well, no, I was just, I don't know what I did. I mean, <laughs> the I, it just, I mean, it looks cool. You make the video, yeah. they make the video look so executive and like, yeah, it's cool. Now, I will say that interview, we were in Las Vegas, obviously, then we're just going to go fly over the strip, but that uh -huh. is, that's the real deal. It's airborne. You heard them talk about the redundancy. It's got more blades than they need. You'll notice it was round and the propellers were pr positioned in around that so that they can have a parachute. So they have thought about a lot of this and he is not only already in the air mm -hmm. in Europe, but he predicts two <laughs> years here in Seattle. And he does, by the way, specifically reference Seattle because he said, oh, supersonics, deadlift strong. <laughs> I played with him on the German basketball team. Oh, so. Michelle, had a better, Michelle had a better face on this. Yeah, she, she was giving like, me the hairy mm, eyeball. Scared. Heights. I don't want to do that. There's no way. I would never I do that. I can just imagine having like 40 or 50 of those in the air at one time. Right? I mean, if it's like Uber where you have cars all over the place when you look at the map, we'll imagine. Drones out the window <laughs> and, and yeah. everyone no. just flying around. I mean, it, the traffic gets bad enough, you may consider it. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm.